Uh, so we have a lot of good topics. First up, uh, UMass is coming into downtown Springfield, uh, into Tower Square, and they are, let's see, workers are transforming the whole building. They took over kind of the second floor, um, where, where kind of where the food court is area, and they're, they're building it out where if you overlook, it's kind of looking to the front of Main okay. Street, over like Nouveau Bank kind mm -hmm. of area. I walked past their entryway yesterday. It was beautiful. That's already done. Oh, yeah, they, they're moving quite well. Yeah. If you're a school, most yeah. schools have money, so you can <laughs> bang it out. Exactly. Uh, but the space uh, is most, most recently was used for Babson Capital, uh, but the uh, owners of Babson and is one of the backers for the UMass project, so they actually mm -hmm. moved out of the space so they could put UMass in there. I mean, between UMass, uh, Cambridge College moved in maybe a year, a little over that ago. Uh, who else is moving downtown? The college Bay was. Bay Path, oh, yeah, yeah Bay, Bay Path University, duh. Um, university, yes. Right yeah, now. they're in yes. this building. How do I not? Sorry, Beta. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I there's a lot. No, everyone. I remember like, two years ago, there was like no schools ever going to come downtown. No yeah. one's going to ever do anything. Now we have multiple schools, and now we have more of them wanting to come down. And I think UMass and Bay Bath being in the forefront. We're all who knows if Western New England or AIC are going to mm -hmm. think about putting not necessarily campuses, but mm -hmm. something downtown. Satellite locations. Yeah, they're really hitting the ground running. <laughs> that was so cheesy. <laughs> you guys will find out later. <laughs> so originally, you're from Pennsylvania, right? Correct, originally. And there's downtowns in those areas? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I'm originally from Philadelphia. There's definitely a downtown. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. out of uh, being new to Western Mass, having colleges, and you know, and I would like to think Springfield is like the capital of Western Mass as much as people north of the Tofu Curran don't believe that. Uh, <laughs> What do you see as a difference? I mean, you came in and there was no universities down here. Maybe just yeah, Cambridge, Cambridge College. Cambridge the only one. And they Good, probably correct. just moved in, but now there's more coming in. Is there a difference you see from Pennsylvania to here? And yes, um, and it's great. So I'm originally from Philadelphia. Um, my master's degree is also from a school that is in downtown Philadelphia. You know, so it, I went, my master's is from Drexel University, which is also directly across the street from the University of Pennsylvania. So and there are two colleges that has like, you know, 20, 30,000 people. So it's the sort of thing where you continuously see people on the street, which I think that Springfield is really in need of more people on the street. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a very healthy thing that we're bringing more people down. And I really hope that, you know, more of the businesses around will start to step up with things that will attract people to stay mm -hmm. downtown. Um, I've also recently been asked to sit on a committee for the bid, kind of pr uh, the business and development district, promoting uh, the cultural arts district in coordination with the downtown dining district. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that we can look for, as there's more people flowing downtown, that businesses really are interested in reacting and giving them more things to do. Mm -hmm. um, and referencing, I move around a lot, as Alfonso knows, uh, one of the other places I worked before in upstate New York, Corning, New York, there's a great example of a town that only has 20,000 people, but has so much to do downtown that the streets are always completely packed mm -hmm. yeah. with people just walking, you know, from restaurant to shops to various things. So I think if in coordination with these colleges, Springfield can really become successful if we give people more reasons to mm -hmm. stay downtown. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Then just stay away. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, before the next topic, one quick thing: you're just like being reactive. I think a lot of businesses downtown need to be a little more proactive I would in agree getting with that people one. down here yeah. instead of waiting for people to get down here. Mm -hmm. um, only because of people saying they won't go to Springfield because they don't think anything is going on, or you know, they don't. Yeah. Want to or whatever. Well, but, and weird safety concerns. And um, so I can say this because you know I just moved this weekend. So I just moved from Long Meadow to Springfield, and I get these like weird reactions when I say things like that. They're like, "Wait, you moved from Long Meadow?" to Springfield. Isn't it usually the other way around? Yeah. <laughs> well, and then I'll say I moved to like Hill McKnight and then I either get like, oh my God, those houses are beautiful or oh my God, you're going to get shot. So <laughs> it's this like very weird. <laughs> yeah, um, and again, being from Philadelphia, living like in the New York City area before, Springfield is perfectly fine. You need a little street smarts the to thing is, walk. But, a lot of yeah. things that happen in Springfield is when people are getting into trouble themselves. Right. And then and the, the, the traditional hours, media then yeah. goes and Jones in front of my spatial center and has nothing to do with my But spatial part center. of why I moved from Long Meadow to Springfield was as a unmarried, you know, person with no children, I wanted to be why there was more to do. And that just doesn't exist necessarily in Long Meadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 